Hi all, welcome to the channel, I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mods and yes I said the next video something special was coming up and I've bitten the bullet, I've trusted Eagle Moss and I have decided to build the Ecto-1. So today we are going to do issue one of the Ecto build and I'm really really looking forward to this one. So, without further ado, let's get modelling. Right, so, um, I got the first two issues. I actually signed up by the Monday and these came actually by the Friday, so I was really quite pleased. A um, couple of things you get in the uh, first two issues. Uh, you get a poster with the actual size. I've actually got that up on the wall at the moment. Um, you also get um, introduction into the build, um, everything that's going to be going on with the build, all the bit of extras. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be quite a fantastic build. Now I've never done um, an Eagle Moss. My old videos are all being model space. So I'm going to have to get used to the instructions at the beginning of the magazine and not at the end of the magazine. But if we just go through the magazine first of all, we get quite a bit on uh, Dan Aykroyd in, uh, in Ghostbusters and yeah, the rest of the magazine is about him and we've got the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man there. Uh, we've got him actually working on the uh, Ecto-1 when he just bought it. I think I remember there's a lot of problems with it when he first buys it but he thought it was a bargain. Um, and then, yeah, we've got a bit more about Dan Aykroyd. And then here we have um, what's coming up in the next issue, uh, what it's going to look like when it's complete. And we've got Slimer down there. So let's just I'll go back to the front of the magazine and we'll have a look what we've got to do. So what we're going to be working on is the hood of the vehicle. Um, and we've got uh, some hood rims, uh, front license plate. Some of these bits are not going to be needed straight uh, in this issue. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to put them aside. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to be putting the vents on here. And then we're going to be putting this together. And then that's really it. There's not much to do in the first issue. So not really much to bite your, uh, get your, your teeth into. So let's have a look at the parts. Now this is really heavy. Really, really heavy. Um, so I dread to think how much this is going to weigh once it's done. So let's get into the package. Now, I hate these because if you've watched my previous videos, I sometimes have massive issues getting into these things. So let's, let's try and get in without destroying everything. and pop this out with all the bits still in. Oh, come on. Right. So, let's have a look. So we're going to be working on this part, which is the hood. This is metal. And for some reason, my camera has stopped working, and I don't know why. No, it's working again. So much, so much going on with my uh, computer. It's just really not plain ball. But anyway, so this is the hood. Okay, underneath it's black. We've got the badges on the front there. And what it's really wanting us to do, first of all, is to put these vents in. So it wants us to put the first vent in, which is number one, which I believe goes in there. I believe it does go in there. No, it's not. It's this one. So it wants that one put in there. If it go, if it'll go in. Try this way. Ah, there we go. And it wants us to secure this with some AM screws. 
and we know they're AM screws because um, let me get them out tiny bags let's get that out and we know they're the right screws because I don't know if you can see that on camera it's got a white top on it okay so let me get my uh, screwdriver get the right one yep I am fairly looking forward to this build um, oh no I need my smaller screwdriver problem is that paint has uh, made the head of it and that's screwing in nice and easy um, now there is actually already a mod for this uh, I believe Mike Lanes has done ones where you don't actually see the screws but to tell you the truth I can't really afford to be buying uh, some of the mods as much as I'd love to so I'm going to try and keep the build as original to the magazine itself um, if I can I mean I do like to mod some things but I'm just going to keep this as is I think so that is the last one going in for this first vent and then it just wants us to get the second vent and again screwing it in with some AM screws um, I've just looked and you we are getting three spare AM screws so all my builds I keep the screws um, sometimes you just never know when uh, you're gonna need them so or if a screw breaks or it's the wrong one so all my builds I always keep all the screws because I don't want to be caught short and left out okay so we just put the last two in like I said these are going in nice and easy actually now I've got two screws left but yeah I will be uh, I do save them I do want to make sure that uh, I have enough and that's done that's in nice and easy so let me move them screws out of the way so the next thing it's wanting us to do is it wants us to take the hood rim here so let me just move that out of the way let me put that there and let me get that that air and it wants us to put this together and screw it in with some B M screws now I'm just trying to get used to uh, Eagle Moss's uh, where they show things because uh, it's a little different I'm trying to get into these screws. There we go. So let's get these BM screws out. So it wants us to take this part here with this bit here on top. Then it wants us to put in this bit here. Yeah, and that clicks together. And what that should do is gives you a nice silver bit here. Now, this white bit is metal. <coughs> Excuse me. But this uh, silver piece here is actually plastic. And it's been secured by four BM screws. Now let me have a look how tiny they Yeah, again the heads on these are quite tiny. And I really do need to magnetize my screwdrivers. Right, no, I need the other screwdriver. Ah, that, that screwdriver's working a lot better for me. Mm. 
Get that third screw in. And it's actually giving us one spare of the BM screw. So let's get this last screw in. And that's the last screw in there. And then that's the finished uh, build for issue one. So we've got the hood and we've got the uh, hood rim, as they would call it. Now, a couple of bits that have come, but we're not using right now. If I come back over here, we have the Ecto-1 number plate. Oh, yeah, there we go. That looks nice. And then we also have the, we have a screwdriver. Um, I'll be using my normal screwdriver um, for this build. I mean, I don't even know if that screwdriver would pick up. Oh, yeah, it does. It would work on the AM screws. But, yeah, I've got about a trillion of these. I've got a, a black one. I've got a, a green one. I've got oh, another black one. Uh, yeah, I do. I collect them, but I don't use them. So I would say I'm a collector of screwdrivers for some unknown reason, without even knowing it. And last but not least, we have got a sticker which we will not be using on this uh, on this build and that's just the Ghostbusters logo there so so what do you think of that um, like I said I'm looking forward to this Ecto-1 build uh, it looks very challenging now a couple of things um, I have now received my next five issues of the X-Wing so finally nearly a year later I'm just trying to think when we started it. We are now getting five issues of the X-Wing instead of two issues of the X-Wing. I and mean, it's been about nine months, I think, of getting two issues a month. So we're only on to like issue 14, 15, 16. It's been an absolute nightmare. But the good news is I've got my five issues. So I've actually got eight issues of X-Wing to do. I've still got quite a bit of the tank to do as well. I've got about six issues of that and i have issue two of the ecto build as well so i've got a very very busy schedule coming up in the near future um i'm actually doing this video in the morning when i don't normally do uh, videos in the morning but uh, i've got things to do this afternoon and i just wanted to get this first build out there uh, to you guys to watch so Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't hit subscribe, please do so. I really want to get my subscriber numbers up. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when my next videos come up. I'm also going to be looking at doing a live as well um, every other Thursday when uh, World of Wayne's not doing his. Um, and, yeah, we'll be talking about models and everything else in the community. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. Bye.